Welcome back to Brew Review Winnipeg. Today we're going to be doing the Ford Gary's Tropical Sunrise Breakfast Stout. And so we figured the best way to do that is by making some breakfast first. Gotta start your review off right. So we're going to be making some bacon and egg pizza. That's what I said. Bacon and egg pizza. Hashtag bring it. Alright, so here's how we make it. Got all our mise en place here. All of it. We got our, our dough. Boom. We got our cheese, we got our bacon, we got some peppers for some good color and some good texture and a bit of sharpness. We got our eggs, and we got a special ingredient which I'm going to show you later. But for right now, let's get this, this uh, pizza dough formed and go from there. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, what I'm doing right now is I'm just degassing all of this. So as the yeast in the pizza dough uh, eats up all the sugars and starches in it, it forms two things, carbon dioxide and alcohol. And so as it does that, the carbon dioxide gets trapped in the gluten strands and creates little bubbles. And so you just gotta degas it by pressing all the little bubbles out. And in doing so, you also get a good pizza shit. And if you're creative, you can throw it up. I can't because I'm not too creative. I'm just gonna keep forming this bad boy. Now we here at Brew Review Winnipeg like a good medium crust pizza. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just a good nice bite. It's a good vehicle in which to have your ingredients on. I think that's about right. So the next step, because we like to uh, use a baker's stone here, we've got to transfer this bad boy onto our baker's stone, which we have nice and hot already. All right, here comes the transfer. Boom. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Just simply beautiful. All right, let's get going. So, secret ingredient, because we want this to be extra bacony, we're going to use the leftover bacon grease as our sauce. As a bit of our, uh, our oil, our, our vehicle. So what happens is um, fats emulsify with your snot and they get up in your sensory gland. And so that's why things that are fried and fatty taste way better than things that aren't. And so we want a good uh, generous portion here. Get right to the edges here. Looks good. <clears throat> now, here comes the cheese. This is uh, good old fashioned Bothwell cheese here. Good old Manitoba product, Bothwell cheese. Best cheese in the world. Literally. It's won so many awards. It's not Bothwell, we're too cheap. Sorry. So you want to get a nice even distribution of your cheeses here so that it just gets a nice good even texture of, of meltage. The next, uh, next step here, we're going to throw on all this bacon. Always remember, try your product before you put it on things. I like that. But I'm not eating just bacon. I'm putting it on a pizza. Mmm. That's what I'm talking about. More bacon. More salted, cured, and fried, baked, however you want it. Bacon. right to the edges. And if you have some left over, you eat some more. Of course you eat some more. And the next thing that we do, we're gonna throw down some uh, some yellow peppers. Just for that little nice kind of tart kind of, oh what's that? A little bit of umami for all you foodies out there. Should go nicely. 
with all of this stuff. I think that looks pretty good. And now for the eggs. What? Eggs on a pizza? Yeah, I said it. So you want to get a good crack so that the uh, yolks don't ooze out everywhere when you crack them. But you also want to avoid getting shells on your bacon pizza. Now you want to space these out quite a bit because you don't want to just have one big mass of eggs on your bacon and egg pizza. Maybe even create a little well of ingredients so that when you do crack your egg all over it, it doesn't ooze out onto the sides. In fact, this one here, I think I'm just going to move them over a little bit and give me some spacing. And do this one last egg right in the middle. And just like that, she is ready to go in the oven. Mmm. Alright, so we got the pizza nice and out of the oven. Looks great. And now we're just going to finish it with some garnish. Got a bit of green onions here. Boom. A little bit more. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Bam! Looking on fleek. Okay, so little mistake. I said it was the tropical breakfast stout. I was wrong. It is the Caribbean breakfast stout. Little right up on the back, it's the delicious drink, smooth, kettle brewed stout with toasted coconut shavings, milk, brown sugar. They put it a breakfast stout, so I'm going to eat it with my breakfast. Uh, it comes, yeah, from the Caribbean. I like it. I'm going to crack this bad boy open. It is a delicious 5.5% alcohol. Alcohol runs yourself about $6 at the MLCC. MLS, whatever you decide to call it. Nice and thick, nice and syrupy, nice and stout-like. Almost like a good cup of coffee. Oh, just thick. And a little carbonation, as in a good stout. Uh, but the big question is, how does it taste specifically with breakfast? Because they call it a breakfast stout. Let's give it a go. I got my bacon and egg pizza here. Mmm. Tastes awesome. Needs a little bit of salt, but it's good. Onion. <laughs> but how does it taste with the the stout? Onion. Oh my goodness, that's good. That is a very good stout. Very good stout. It's smooth and very roasty, sweet, a bit nutty. Oh man. The only thing I don't like with this stout, honestly, is the carbonation. It's not, it's almost a little too airy for me. I want it to be a little bit thicker, but the malt makes up for that. Um, yeah, it's very, very good stout. Please pick this up. Uh, I'd give it a 9 out of 10 because this is, uh, yeah, the, the Ford Gator is like the baseline. It was a little bit watery, but super good. Had good complex malts in it. This, they just take it that further step. And like I said, the only thing I can find wrong with it is uh, it is a little bit too, um, yeah, a little bit too carbonated, but it's delicious. Uh, I don't know why they call it a Caribbean stout. Uh, I don't know why, because I don't think I would have this if I was in the Caribbean. It just doesn't make sense to me, but, but nonetheless, yeah. it's very good. Yeah, until next time, what up, big? Brew on.